Hey, hi everyone. This is Vishal Boyer. Now we will continue our discussion of prokaryotic cell structure with our next topic called as cytoplasm. Now, cytoplasm, as you can see from the diagram, it's a granulated liquid part inside the prokaryotic cell. Now, it is actually a semi-fluid ground substance, or we call it matrix. It consists of different types of inorganic and organic compounds which provide obviously a suitable chemical environment for the cell to survive. It does not show the cytoplasmic streaming. Cytoplasmic streaming means as you can see in the case of eukaryotic cell you can see the cytoplasmic streaming present in the cell. This kind of cytoplasmic streaming in the prokaryotic cell we don't find actually. Cytoplasm lacks many different membrane bound organelles like mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi and also lysosomes. So these are all present in case of obviously in case of eukaryotic cell but these are absent in case of our prokaryotic cells. In the case of prokaryotic cells so they are absent in the cytoplasm. So cytoplasm may contain different structures like mesosomes, chromatophores and inclusion bodies. Let us see those. So mesosomes are the special structures present inside the cytoplasm and these are actually the invaginations of the plasma membrane into the cell in the form of vesicles, tubules and lamellae. You can see the vesicle structures and the tubule structure and this too makes the lamellae to form the mesosomes. The exact function is still at unknown but uh, it is believed to be involved in the formation of cell wall as well as it is involved in uh, very important in the process of replication and distribution of chromosomes. As you can see from the diagram, the mesosomes are attaching point for the bacterial chromosome where it replicates and there are two copies which are then made by the bacterial replication machinery and these two copies are then distributed obviously with the help of mesosomes and two cells, two individual cells are formed from the uh, parent bacterial cell. Then let us come to the next structure called as chromatophores. These are color bodies. As you can see, they are found in photosynthetic bacteria as well as cyanobacteria and they contain different types of pigments. One of them is called as bacteriochlorophyll, bacteriophyophytin and there are some carotenoids. You can see the bacterial growth inside the water of ocean which, which due to this chromatophores, the water itself turns into that particular color the bacteria which are there present in the water and they reflect that color. Then you can see the pond system where the different bacteria with their chromatophores are growing and you can see the gradual appearance of that color imparted to the pond system itself, pond water itself. Then we are coming to the third inclusion bodies. Now these are obviously these are storage granules inside the bacteria present in the cytoplasm. There are two types actually. The first one is called as organic inclusion and the next one is called as inorganic inclusion. The organic inclusion includes cyanophycine granule, starch granule and glycogen granule. You can see the cyanophycine granule which are used for the storage of nitrogen as well as some carbon compound. You can see how does they appear. They are appearing in this cell as a dark bodies. Then there are obviously starch and glycogen granules so they used as an energy source. You can see the dark color bodies, starch granules and the glycogen granules present in the bacteria. Then the next type obviously inorganic inclusion. So they are consisting of inorganic minerals like phosphates. So they store phosphate as you can see over here in this bacteria, the phosphate granules and they are also used for the storage of sulfur so you can see the sulfur granule present inside the bacteria so in this way we have studied the cytoplasm present in the bacterial cell 
we will continue our discussion in the next video with the different structure present in the bacterial cell so i hope you have if you have liked the video then kindly like share and comment bye bye